Today on Reese Dixon, I am taking old suits and creating designer bedding. Hi everybody, it's Teresa with ReeseDixon.com. I am now to the point in my master bedroom makeover when I need to start addressing the bedding. I've got a number of quilts that I've been using for years on that bed that I really love and that's part of why I chose the fabric that I chose for my upholstered bed frame is so that whatever quilt I wanted to use could work with that suiting material. So I need to make some shams. I need some more pillows on this bed but that brings back that challenge that I need pillows that will go with whatever quilt I want to happen to use that day. So I wanted to continue my theme of using suiting materials. So I went to my thrift store and I got actual suit coats. I tried to get a variety of different colors. There's this great blue plaid and this pinstripe and then just this solid blue blazer. And I'm going to cut all of these apart. And I'm, I decided what I'm gonna do is cut them into four inch squares and I'll make a simple quilted pillow sham. So I've, I'm going to cut these all apart because you can actually get a whole lot of fabric out of these suit coats if you can cut your pieces that small or even smaller. There's a lot of details that if you were just to try to get a big hunk of fabric would get in your way, lots of padding in the shoulders and that kind of thing. But if you go that small, you can get a ton of fabric. So. I've got some cutting to do, and once I get these all into four inch squares, I'll show you how I can start to piece these together randomly so that they'll still look great, but you don't have to put any thought into it whatsoever. Inside this bag is all of the four inch squares that I've cut out of those old suits. I found as I was cutting them that I really liked keeping the details intact, keeping like the pockets and buttons wherever I could, the buttonholes, all of those little touches that really make it look like a suit and not just any old fabric. So as I was cutting them out, I was trying to arrange it so that I could keep those as much as possible. And then once I was done cutting all of those four inch squares, they all go into this bag so that I can make the that I can sew them all together completely randomly. I didn't want to have any kind of pattern, any kind of you know rhythm to it. I just wanted it random. So in order to really achieve that, they all go in the bag and then I'll just pull out two at random, here a navy and a pinstripe, and sew those together with a quarter inch seam allowance and then iron it open so that it's nice and flat. Then once I've got my pairs done, I put those back in the bag. So then I dig around and pull out, there's one pair, there's another pair. Okay, so I've got my two pairs and I'll match those together and sew them with a quarter inch seam allowance. And I'm going to do that until I have a strip the width that I need. So since I'm making a king size pillow sham, I needed 10 of these four inch squares across. And then once you make all of your strips, okay, then you can just sew your strips together, match those up until you have your whole quilted square. So here's one of the ones that I made for my king size sham. So it's 10 squares across and six rows tall. And that, this is what the front will be like. And I love how I can keep those little buttons, those little pocket details, to really emphasize that this is an upcycled suit project. So that's the front. Now to make the back, I always like when I'm making pillows to do kind of an, an overlap closure. So instead of just making another piece exactly like this for the back, I made two separate pieces that are still six rows high, but they are six uh, squares wide so that they can, here we go, I've got these right here, so that these can overlap like this. And, you, and so you can see here how I've hemmed, and I used a bright white thread so you could see 
how I just, oops, let me move that so you can see. Okay, so I hemmed one edge. I just rolled it over twice and sewed it down. And so that's one side, and then here's the other. And they're both six inches by, or six squares by six squares. Um, each of the squares is four inches. So now what I can do is take the front of my sham and lay that down and then lay the backs over it with the right sides together. I'm gonna match up the sides so that the, this back part will overlap neatly, like so. Okay, so then I've got like a good two square overlap, which is perfect because then I'll be able to get the pillow in there nicely, but they'll still cover everything up. So now that these are in position, I'm gonna pin them so that I can sew all the way around. And that's the nice thing about doing this kind of overlap closure is that I don't have to leave a space open for turning it inside out and then sew it closed. I've got this built in. And then of course, whenever I need to, I can just take it off the pillow to wash it. So I'm gonna sew this all the way around, get the pillow inside, and then I'll show you how it looks when it's all finished. Here's my finished pillow sham, and I love how it turned out. I just think all of these little details, these little buttons, these little suits, uh, suit pockets, that's what makes doing an upcycled project so much fun, is I could never get this level of detail any other way. I could never create something that's so evocative of something so masculine and cool without all of those little details that you get from upcycling, from taking something and using it for a different purpose. So I think this is going to look so gorgeous on my big master bed with the pinstripe wing bag. It's oh, going to look so gorgeous. So be sure and subscribe to the channel so you can see the whole bedroom when it's all done and how great these look on my big bed. And um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I will help you out and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.